Hello everyone. We're sure that many of you know something about our planet's past. Dinosaurs, huge meteorites, ancient architectural monuments. Information about these things is available to everyone. But have you ever wondered what will happen to our planet in the future? Many modern scientists have been concerned about this issue for several decades. Fortunately, their knowledge helps us make predictions not only for the next few years, but also for the coming decades. In today's video, we're going on a trip to the future, and we're going to see what changes will take place in our planet in the next 10,000 years. Let's get it on. Of course, we're going to start in the near future. You probably want to know what you can see with your own eyes, right? Well, in 2019, new countries will appear on the world map. Bougainville Island, located in the Pacific Ocean, is officially an autonomous region of Papua New Guinea. However, in 2019, it can gain independence if a large part of its population votes for it at a specially convened meeting. And Nueva Caledonia, which is now part of France, can also become a separate country. In 2020, the construction of the tallest building on the planet will be completed. You all probably know that today's tallest building is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. However, this record can be exceeded by 2020. In Saudi Arabia, they plan to complete the construction of the Jeddah Tower that will be the first one to reach the 1 km high mark. That same year, the private company Bigelow Aerospace, dedicated to space tourism, will launch into orbit a ship that could become a hotel for Earthlings. The testing of these ships was successful, and one of them was used by cosmonauts at the ISS as a storage facility. In 2024, SpaceX is sending a rocket of the same name to Mars with different loads. And a couple of decades later, the first settlers on the Red Planet would arrive. Can you imagine? If you think that the idea of moving people to another planet is delusional, then you should know that this is completely plausible. UN experts predict that by 2025, the world's population will grow to 8 billion people, and by 2050, it'll be 10 billion. In 2026, the construction of the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, which began in 1883, will be completed. The biggest problem with the construction is the need to design special stone blocks, which takes a lot of time. Therefore, in the near future, it'll be possible to finally visit this place and have a good look from the inside. No matter how sad it may seem, in 2028, Venice will be uninhabited. This doesn't mean that the city will be completely underwater, but there is reason to believe that living there will be impossible due to a significant increase in the water levels. And this is a horror story for those who've always been afraid of strange objects falling from the sky. By 2029, the Apophis asteroid will approach Earth at 23,859 miles, which can lead to the collision of this large stone with our planet. But we hope we won't share the same fate as dinosaurs, and this hot bundle will fly by. As we said, the most likely planet for life is Mars. In 2033, not only a cargo will be sent to this planet, but also a true manned mission called Aurora. Researchers want to make sure that the planet is suitable for many people. As you've probably already understood, the future is closely related to the study of outer space, and therefore, probes will be sent there in 2036 to study the star system of Alpha Centauri. The Breakthrough Starshot project is sending an entire fleet of spaceships to the nearest star. The spaceship will be fitted with solar sails. Prior to Alpha Centauri, the probes will fly for 20 years, but another five will be needed to send a message back to Earth about the successful arrival. By 2040, an experimental thermonuclear reactor will begin to work. The construction started in 2007 in southern France, 40 miles from Marseille. If someone doesn't know, this is necessary to get a lot of energy. The advantage of this reactor is its safety, because even in the event of an accident, the amount of emissions will be so small that there won't be a need for an evacuation. 
Today, Antarctica is an almost completely unexplored and protected object, but by 2048, the ban on mineral extraction in this area won't exist anymore. Under the Antarctic Treaty System, no country can own this territory, and the continent itself is a non-nuclear zone. Mining is now also strictly prohibited, but scientists expect this agreement to be revised exactly in 2048. We don't quite understand how this was calculated, but scientists are confident that by 2050, the colonization of Mars will begin. By this time, people will be able to fly to the Red Planet within the framework of the Mars One project. But before that, scientists will have to solve many interplanetary travel problems. There is information that a special interplanetary elevator or something like that is planned to be built, but there's no official confirmation of such a novelty. Well, we told you about the closest changes on the planet. You ready to go further? Well then, scientists don't have any good news about the year 2100, because the weather would be ruined and chaos would rule over the world. The average daily temperatures on the planet will begin to rise, while diseases and the likelihood of war will increase. If you don't believe us, just take a look at the situation in today's world. Some regions of America are increasingly feeling the lack of water and suffering from droughts, while other regions suffer from terrible floods due to heavy rain each year. And there are more and more cases of forest fires due to the abnormal heat. And this global cataclysm has one reason. Overall, according to NASA experts, it's because of the carbon dioxide which we emit in large quantities into the atmosphere. By early 2015, its concentration set a record and exceeded 400 particles per million. By 2100, it'll grow to 900. As a result of these adverse changes, the average daily summer temperature in cities such as Jerusalem, New York, and Los Angeles will be 45 degrees Celsius, and in London and Paris, over 30 degrees Celsius. It's hard to believe, but according to NASA estimates, there's almost a 100% chance that the Himalayan glaciers in the Everest region will melt. But as long as these events don't lead humankind to its end, Nevertheless, by the year 3000, the temperature can rise by 15 degrees Celsius worldwide, and the sea level will rise by more than 36 feet, flooding most of London. As a result of these sudden changes, the UK may become warmer or colder, but it'll turn into a warm region eventually. This can happen if the current North Atlantic system is altered and Britain loses the warm Gulf Stream. Ocean surface temperature will drop by 3 degrees, but if the Arctic ice melts, it'll increase again by 8 degrees in a short period of time. If we continue to burn fossil fuels, then the sea level and the temperature will keep growing, which can lead to the flooding of large areas of Bangladesh, Florida and many other places that are too low above sea level. As a result, hundreds of millions of people will lose their homes. At the same time, the acidity of the oceans will decrease significantly creating a threat to the existence of marine organisms such as coral and plankton. This, in turn, can affect the entire marine ecosystem. Such unpleasant information is an excellent food for meditation, isn't it? But it's not too late to avoid a global catastrophe, because everything is in our hands. Well, now is the time to talk about the distant future, that is, about the years 4000 and 5000. Due to population growth, consumption of goods produced on the planet will also increase. Even if scientists succeed in transferring some people to other planets, then it will be difficult to rebuild factories and plants here. Therefore, to feed a colossal population of several dozen billion people, there will be thousands of farms operating in the oceans that will produce food at an incredible scale. In these ocean farms, not only fish but also algae will be grown, which will then be used as food and fuel. Science and technology will go one step further, so it's almost 100% likely that telepathy will become one of the usual ways to increase brain functionality. Perceiving thoughts and transferring them to a distance will become a familiar habit like reading, for example. And it may sound fantastic now, but it's real even now, if by thought transmission we mean the transmission of electrical signals from the brain. Thanks to the achievements of genetics, scientists will be able to create people with the highest level of intelligence and immortality. The direct connection of the brain to the computer, which will become an integral part of the lives of the people in the future, 
will give them an opportunity for the eternal life of the body. This means that the modern problems of impaired hearing, vision and memory, the problems with other important body functions and aging of the skin would simply disappear. In addition to all this, the body's ability to tolerate various diseases will increase significantly. Nanobots, which already exist in theory, will flow through our circulatory system, repairing cells. By the year 5000 or so, the language and currency borders will also be erased. Due to the large number of people that will inhabit the planet, humans will be in much closer contact with each other than they are now. Therefore, there'll be just a bunch of major languages that can be counted on one hand. Along with this, as you've figured out, there will be a single currency or an entirely electronic money that can be used anywhere in the world. Time passes, folks, and the years 7000 and 8000 are already here. Whatever happens inside of the Earth and on the surface of our planet, some phenomena will remain unchanged. The Earth will continue to revolve around the Sun. The Moon will continue to orbit the Earth. However, astronomical cycles will change slowly but significantly. The gravitational opposition between the Earth and the Moon will persist, but our satellite will move away several inches each year, decreasing in the sky until it finally becomes so small that it can no longer cause a total solar eclipse. And as we said before, people will have artificial intelligence. But that's not all. The problem of limb loss or injury will no longer bother the population, as incredibly realistic prostheses will be created. Let's say, moreover, anyone can replace any boring part of the body with a new bionic detail if he or she wants it. In addition to artificial limbs, artificial languages will also be created, and there'll be artificial builders and garbage collectors, and climate controllers, and nanobots will carry out all of these tasks. Just imagine, you don't need to do anything with your own hands. You just need to click a button or run some program, and lots of high-end mini-robots will perform any task. And finally, it's time to think of the future in 10,000 or 12,000 years. Of course, none of us can say with confidence what exactly would happen in such a long period of time. However, the stubborn futuristic scientists share their assumptions. Since we can't disprove their words, we have to believe in them. Therefore, at this point in time, the population of the planet may well become an immortal robotic army, living in an environmentally clean world which nanobots care about. Diseases will disappear. There'll be no wars. Guest visits will become trips in interplanetary elevators, but these are just assumptions. There's only one way to verify them. Live until they come true. We hope you enjoyed watching the future with us. Share your thoughts about this topic in the comments and don't forget to give us a like. If you haven't checked Jelly Gummy Bear's channel yet, you should do it right away. You'll certainly like all the funny experiments with the Jelly Bear, cool life hacks, awesome homemade stuff and exciting adventures that are waiting for you on the channel. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.